Hi, Todd Dunn here on February 19, 2019. This video is commemorating two years on YouTube. Today is the first day of my third year on YouTube, so I thought I'd take a minute and look back at my second year and just say a little bit about my first year, because last year I made a video about year one on YouTube, and you can... Uh, look back at it. The link is in the description. So, what was my second year like? Well, it was a huge change from the first year. In the second year, I made 100 videos up from 94 in the first year. That uh, would have been higher, except this year in January, I got very sick and completely lost my voice. So I ended up not making uh, any videos after about January 4th for the rest of the month. And I had planned to make about another 15 or 20 videos. So that affected my end of the year total. Uh, but now I'm back, although as you can hear, if you compare this to some of my older videos, my voice still isn't a hundred percent, but it's slowly coming back. So what do the rest of my statistics for year two look like? Well, videos, 100. How about views? I had 107,591 views in my second year on YouTube. That's up from 18,577. So that is almost six times as many views. So that's a, a big improvement. And the number averaged out for the year was about 9,000 views a month. But for the last month, I've been averaging about 12,000 views. So the, the, my viewership is gradually increasing, which is good. I'm, you know, hoping to get out there and interest more people with my content. Another thing about my channel is that my subscribers have increased. Uh, in the last year, I gained 343 subscribers, up from 161 the first year, gives me a total of 504 subscribers. And if my subscribership keeps growing at the same uh, trend that it has for the last year, I expect that sometime this next year, I'll hit a thousand, which will be a nice milestone for me. I just went over 500 about eight, nine days ago. And as of today, last time I looked, I had 506 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Uh, my first year, I had 1,360 hours uh, of viewership on my videos. Last year, I had just a hint under 6,000 hours. So that uh, is showing up a nice improvement. So where's that put me overall? Well, I've produced 194 videos, not counting this one. I have... Uh, had 126,168 views at the end of my second year and 7,360 hours of viewership on my videos and a total of 504 subscribers. I'm sure that part of the reason that my views and viewership has gone up is the fact that I have nearly 200 videos now on YouTube compared to my first year where I ended the year with 94. So more videos, more views. Uh, but which videos have uh, gotten the most views? Are there any particular trends? Well, I have to say there are. One aspect of my channel is that I've covered a lot of ground. I have uh, had quite a few videos on chronic lymphocytic leukemia because I'm interested in it and because I have it and it is a condition that I'll have for the rest of my life. So I've made quite a few videos on that. They have, eh, 
a, a steady but small audience of about 150 people because the community online is not that huge. In the same context, I made a number of videos about Medicare and signing up for Medicare that uh, has drawn some interest. Uh, again, it's a small but steady audience of around 100 people. Uh, I've also made quite a few videos about Mount Desert Island and Acadia National Park. In particular, in December, I made 30 videos in 30 days about MDI and Acadia National Park. Uh, the viewership there is still growing, but it's not great, about 50 views per video. But it was fun doing it, and it got me out to a different part of Mount Desert Island every day for the entire month of December, which was a lot of fun to do. Then we come to the areas with the most viewership. My second most popular area is solar power. I've made no, probably about a dozen, maybe 15 videos on solar power. And a number of those were product specific, dealing with solar panels and uh, charge controllers. And those videos, particularly the charge controller videos, have been very popular. And I probably should make more of them but that's limited by you know, buying more uh, solar equipment. Right now, I'm uh, at a, sort of a slow point in acquiring more solar for two reasons. One, my solar is on my boats and I don't need more solar on my boats, so there's not much point in buying more equipment. I am thinking about adding uh, inverters that are hard mounted on the two boats. Right now I have small portable inverters that I use, but it would be nice to have a hard mounted inverter on each boat. So uh, there's a good possibility that sometime this summer you'll see some inverter videos as I buy and install inverters on both my 1936 wooden power boat and my 1972 fiberglass sailboat. But other than that, I don't know if I'm going to do too much more solar stuff, at least product oriented, uh, for the other big reason, and that is that I uh, had to buy a new truck this year, and uh, new trucks are awfully expensive, and that sucked up a lot of my ready cash, and actually pretty much all of my ready cash, so I don't really have uh, a pool of money that I can use to go out and buy solar products right now. That'll change as the year goes on, I hope. Now, what are my most popular videos? Well, those are my boating videos, and in particular, my wooden boat videos. Uh, so, I definitely will be making more wooden boat videos. It's going to be a couple of months, though, because right now, it's... Uh, about, ooh, even though it's sunny and clear, it's something like 16 degrees outside. Which, since my boats are in cold storage, is just a little bit on the chilly side to work on my boats. So I think that I'm probably not going to be making any videos on my boats until it warms up a bit. But as soon as it does, I'll be working on the boats and I'll be making... Uh, a few videos on uh, Tortuga, my 1936 wooden power boat, as I get it ready to go in the water. Which I'll be finishing the repair to Tortuga's foredeck, which I removed last fall and only got part way back on before the weather got too cold to work anymore. And I'll also be doing the usual painting and varnishing and uh, some additional work inside. And I'm also going to be making some videos as I prep my sailboat for this season. And once the boats are in the water, I hope to do more cruising videos this year than I did last year. Last summer I was a bit limited by the fact that I was in treatment for my chronic lymphocytic leukemia and uh, although the side effects were not that bad, they were there and uh, it did limit my cruising a little bit. So, this year I hope to do more. 
and we'll be doing uh, quite a few more boating videos. I'm also going to try to do some other boat oriented videos in which I visit some of the boat yards in the area and hopefully uh, if they'll talk to me on camera interview some of the local boat builders. Okay so that's uh, where my channel has come from for the last two years and I'm uh, feeling pretty good about 6,000 hours of viewership last year and I'm hoping I can push it up to 10,000 this year and I'm really positive about the fact that I now have over 500 subscribers and, um, and hope that uh, I can hit 1,000 during the coming year. So, anyway, thanks to everybody who's watched any of my videos and pushed those numbers up. I hope that I've entertained you. So, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't, please subscribe. And I hope that you look forward to seeing more of my videos in the coming year. Thanks again for watching.